This week, it's all about bug bounties. Where can you go to learn about them? How can you get better at them? And how can you make money doing them? Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to Simply Cyber. If you're new here, this is a YouTube channel designed for helping people make and take their cybersecurity career further, faster. Special thanks to our sponsor, Coastal Information Security Group. And if you like what you see in this video, consider checking out the other videos because I've got uh, dozens of them on this channel and it's all about cybersecurity and helping you develop yourself professionally. So today we're talking about bug bounties, but be sure to stay tuned to the end uh, where I have a new One Cool Thing segment that I've added that I do every episode now. So let's get into it. So what is a bug bounty? A bug bounty is a uh, coordinated uh, vulnerability disclosure program that companies put in place in order to have you know, good guys basically find bugs in their software before bad guys do. Okay, so that's basically it. Now this is really a, a, um, a really interesting concept and one that like, I, I wanna say maybe five years ago became kind of commonplace. So think about it for a minute. 15 years ago, you're, you're online and you're able to um, modify the price of something, right? You, you, you put something in your shopping cart and it's $25 and then you, you put a proxy in there and you intercept it, right? And we'll talk about this in a minute. But you intercept it and you change the price to $0.25 cents and then submit it to the server, right? Well, if it's not doing server-side validation on the price of that item, which is fairly common practice now, you technically could buy that thing for 25 cents, right? And obviously the vendor's getting screwed out of their money and uh, you're, you're taking advantage of a weakness in their system. Now, again, 15 years ago, maybe you find this and you're a good guy and you don't want to um, take advantage of that vulnerability, but you want them to know, hey, fix your stuff. So well, how do you do it? You, maybe you would contact them directly. Now at this point, um, you may, it's, it's kind of like, murky waters, right? Or were you, were you uh, committing a crime by doing that? Are you exposing yourself? I mean, you hear stories about people who uh, are trying to do the right thing. Responsible disclosure is what it's called. And they end up getting in legal trouble. Uh, the vendor takes action against them and all this other stuff. Uh, even famously, there was some DEF CON talks back before this became, like responsible vulnerability disclosure became a thing, uh, where certain individuals have been arrested right after their talk for uh, disclosing a vulnerability uh, to a to a system. Now, there is a whole uh, different discussion around responsible disclosure versus irresponsible disclosure, right? You want to give the vendor the opportunity uh, to correct the problem before you uh, make it public, right? So that's that's the whole thing. So, fast forward to today and bug bounties. So vendors finally figured out there's a huge community out there of people who want to do security research and the vendors don't have to pay them unless they're successful, right? So now they get this huge workforce um, and, and only really paying them if they're, if they're able to actually do something instead of paying them and maybe they don't do anything. So there are platforms that kind of, Hacker One's a big one, Bug Crowd's another big one, and we'll take a look at that uh, on the computer. But the, these platforms are basically middlemen or, or, or mediators between the vendors and the hacker security researcher community to provide that interface. So the way that it would work is um, I'm a vendor, right? I'm Office Depot. So Office Depot says, hey, Hacker One, we want to have um, a, a bug bounty program. Will you help us? Here's a list of things that are in scope, and scope is defined by like what you can attack, and here are things that are out of scope, right? Uh, don't attack these. And then the Hacker One puts it on their platform, and then people, people come in, uh, hackers, and they sign up, and we're gonna do that uh, in a minute here, and, um, and then start hacking, right? And maybe if you find something, you submit it through Hacker One, so you've got this like vehicle for communicating your findings, if you're gonna get paid out. Some of the bug bounties have uh, financial rewards depending on the severity of the bug that you find. Um, you can get paid and HackerOne will help uh, with that transaction as well. Also, there's prestige points. So some, some vendors uh, aren't gonna pay for bugs, but you know if you're working on bug bounties either for fun or to develop your skills, um, there's various reasons to do it. 
um, you can get prestige points and there's a scoreboard and stuff like this. Now, I, I'm making this video in response to a, a viewer's, um, or maybe it's over here, a viewer's uh, request, Techno Secure Technologies, about making a bug bounty video. And thank you so much for submitting that. I'm happy to uh, make any videos on content that applies to you know what this channel is about and that people want to see. So uh, put your comments below if you got any video ideas that you'd like me to drill into. Now, back to bug bounties. So I was just going to make this video for bug bounties and what a serendipitous time for me because this is the week of DEFCON and the red team and it's DEFCON 28 safe mode. So like everything's virtual because of COVID. So I started doing some research on bug bounties. And uh, first of all, uh, for resources, I want to recommend a couple things. One, um, check out this guy right here. Uh, his name is Stoke. And I think I said that right, he's Swedish. Uh, he's got an awesome YouTube channel. He's very engaging, he's very smart. He understands bug bounties. Um, so check him out. I, like I'm just, this whole video is just a primer on bug bounties, right? Uh, where you can go to get more information what, what it is in general. I'm not a uh, expert at bug bounties or anything like that, but check him out. Another great one to check out um, is Hackersploit, uh, this channel right here. Um, I'm gonna list some tools and stuff, but a lot of these tools, um, they have videos that drill directly into these tools uh, and, and how to use them effectively, okay? So that is that. Um, now, on top of that, I'm not even a red teamer, but I spent, I spent like all week, my DEF CON week, uh, in the red team village. Like, <gasps> you, and you can, sorry, and you can see it back here. The red team village is uh, on, on my screen here. I've been just soaking it up and, and kudos. I'm gonna do a video just on DEF CON red team village because what a great community and it was just fantastic. But Jason Haddix, who's like a legend in the bug bounty scene, uh, did a two hour bug bounty training that I attended absolutely free. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Red Team Village. And I've, I've got some clips from that to share with you guys. Um, it's probably right here. You can see uh, Jason went through his methodology, which is, you know, a, a structured framework with step one, step two, step three, the tools he uses, how he executes uh, a bug bounty. And I'm telling you, if like look in the in the show notes, I've got links to all of this, okay, including the the methodology. I want you to take a look at it. As long as you are staying in scope of what Hacker One or Bug Crowd or whatever says you can stay in scope for, go buck wild. Do do whatever you want. It's so much fun and it's so awesome, right? So so some of the tools, okay. This is from a. Uh, so, so from Hackersploit, he did a video that I'll link in the show notes below of like what his tool set is. Now, there's going to be different tools for different things, but I'm going to tell you right now, Burp, Burp Suite, it's 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 a it's a proxy, it's like a web browser proxy kind of thing, uh, but it's so much more than that, and it's basically it's definitely the de facto tool of bug bounty people. So you can see right here the. Um, Burp. So definitely download that. There's a community edition that's absolutely free, uh, so you can play with it. Obviously, there's some features in the professional version, but uh, based on my research, really, you're not gonna need those features uh, unless you're like uh, going to become like a professional bug bounty person, or you're gonna do it to make real, real money, and then investing in it actually kind of makes sense, right? So uh, real quick, by the way, if you're enjoying this video, uh, I forgot to mention this. Uh, Consider hitting the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe, um, post a comment, you know, it all helps with the algorithm and uh, I'm posting these videos every Monday. So um, I, I, you know, I just, I love to, I love to engage the community and, and build, you know, build this community up. So please consider it. Um, so back, back to the tools, right? So you got Burp, then uh, some other tools that you're gonna want, you're gonna be using your web browser quite a bit, right? So uh, some of the tools that Hackersploit recommended uh, is Cookie Editor, all right? So this is an extension. Obviously, it allows you to edit cookies. Um, Foxy Proxy, um, is, it's, it's a newer uh, extension, but it basically does some stuff with Burp uh, kind of automagically that you would normally just have to do. So I think it just saves you a couple steps. It's a convenience extension. Wappalyzer, I recommend you check this one out. Wappalyzer basically analyzes any page you go to and tells you the text stack. So definitely check that out. Um, Wfuzz uh, is another one that he recommended. This is built into Kali. Oh, by the way, uh, you don't have to use a Kali build, but it's, you know, it is the pen testing 
OS, pen testing suite of tools, and you can definitely use it for bug bounty uh, type things. Because bug bounty is basically like pen testing, right? Except this is the best part. It, it's pen testing, but you don't need a gig. Like you basically go get a gig um, and, and, and there you go, you're off and running. So definitely want to use a Cali thing. Um, you're going to do subdomain listing. So sublister, um, a mass is a very popular one. I'm going to link in the show notes below uh, a video that's like basically a how to, how to use a mass. This is a tool you'll, you'll want to learn. Um, what else we got in here? Scrapey, a Python, um, sec lists on GitHub. That's another one that Hackersploit recommended. Check that out. Um, it's just so cool. And I'm going to post to the Red Team Village uh, in the show notes below. Like the show notes are going to be huge. I might run out of characters uh, in, in the text field because there's so much awesome content uh, from, from DEF CON this week. Um, and then there's uh, Striker. But I just check out just check out the, the, the Stoke and the Hacker Sploit YouTube channels. Um, Jason Haddix again, he's got a YouTube channel. I don't know how often he posts to it. Um, he's got a Twitch stream, but he hasn't, he hasn't live streamed in five months. But in the training that I took with him yesterday, he said he was actually gonna start doing that. Um, again, he just, he just had stopped doing it for a little bit. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna jump on the computer, but basically we're gonna, we're gonna sign up for a HackerOne account. We're gonna take a look at what it is. Maybe we're gonna take a look at a couple of the tools. Um, but bug bounty, this is, this is what another thing I wanna give you, right? By doing bug bounties, in addition to them being a lot of fun and you being able to make money, put it on your resume, okay? This is how you're gonna do it. Independent security researcher, or if you think that sounds too um, hacky, uh, just put security researcher, um, you know, and I don't know if you wanna make up a firm or if you if you legitimately wanna like spend the whatever, a couple bucks and, and, and register an LLC or whatever, like just security researcher, independent security researcher, whatever you want, but then for the bullets, you can put things like, um, you know, like Tesla, Office Depot, like the Lowe's. The big ones are at Apple. They're in there uh, as as clients of HackerOne, right? Or, you know, for, for the various ones. The point is, you can say, um, you know, from a technical side, I've done, I've done domain enumeration. I've done uh, this type of, you know, penetration testing. I've you know, map CVEs to whatever. Like you can, you can kind of use the tech stack to speak to the technical pieces uh, under the security researcher. Then you can do uh, worked, uh, did did responsible vulnerability disclosure um, with to you know with Apple with Office Depot to do X Y Z. Maybe you, you even like get some CVEs published. You can use this as a job while you're looking for a job, right? If if you follow what I'm saying. Um, and it'll and it's 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 methodic. If you use Jason Haddock's bug bounty methodology, uh, you're going to be off to a great start because that gives you the framework on what to do. And I hope that they post the video for the training. If they do, I'll include it below. It was a two-hour training, and basically Jason took a target, Office Depot, and ran through his workflow right up into the point where he would actually find or, or exploit bugs. And uh, he was doing his best not to like accidentally disclosed that because it was like a 200 person training. There were a couple times that uh, there were things uh, where he'd have to quickly move them off screen or something like that. But the, the point is it takes you, if, if, if bug bounty hunting or bug bounties was like a five step process, right? Like uh, get a client, uh, enumerate, um, exploit, disclose, profit, right? Get paid. He, he went through everything up until exploit, right? So it's a huge head start to give you the mindset and the understanding of exactly how you need to do bug bounties. Okay, so I'm gonna hop behind the computer. We're gonna register for HackerOne. We're gonna take a look at some of the tools and stuff like that. All right, so I mentioned this in the talk before, but this is Hackersploit's YouTube page. Um, super awesome. And um, basically, you know, he's got he's got so many videos uh, of different tools to use, and then he's got kind of general starting videos and stuff like that. So check it out. And then um, Stoke, right here, or Stoke. There he is. Yep. So just tons and tons. If you're into bug bounties, start here. Okay. So. 
as I mentioned before, we're going to we're going to take hacker one and we're going to jump into it. All right. So let's hacker one. Hack powered security testing and bug bounty. OK, here we go. So if you want to if you want to be anonymous um, for various reasons, whatever, you can put in a pseudonym here. Um, but, you know, it depends what you want. Right. So. If, you, if you're going to use this to build a resume uh, or to help, you know, develop your professional career or advance it, I'd recommend you use your real name. Um, I like uh, Jerry guy for my my name. All right. So my email uh, signed up, uh, as you saw, I went off camera real quick because I didn't want you to see my inbox, uh, but I got the verification email. And uh, all right. So we registered an account. We clicked on the activation email. We signed in. We're good to go. All right. So this is our um this is our look and feel, right? Let's see what's up. Okay, so we're inside Hacker One now uh, with our account. You can see um, under directory, so let's find a bug bounty, right? Uh, as I mentioned before, there's bounties that don't pay money, uh, just prestige, managed by Hacker One. Um, ooh, let's do this. We want to do managed by Hacker One. That seems pretty good. Uh, what's IBB? Internet bug bounties, bug bounty program for core internet infrastructure and free open source. Okay. Um, let's see. Ooh, asset type. You know, so maybe your um, really specific focus is Android, right? So you could you can kind of limit it to that. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do domain because that, that's what I like, right? Uh, so here, look at this. Wells Fargo, PlayStation. Uh, let's do PlayStation because I... Oh, they actually pay bounties too. Hmm, nice. I really like PlayStation. I, I'm an Xbox person, but I liked PlayStation. Okay, so here's the policy you can see. Um, like, so anytime you do any type of like offensive security, you've got to be very, very um, smart about the um, the rules of engagement, right? This is the scope. It's very easy to wander outside a scope and then, you know, hacker one's not going to be able to protect you. You're not going to be able to like, you're, you're basically just actively attacking someone at that point. So be very careful about what you're doing. Be deliberate, uh, be systematic and, and keep it within scope. So here we can see that the scope for them is all of these um, and out of scope uh, are these. So they don't want you hacking hardware basically. Um, you know, they, they give you all the stuff. So like, seriously, this is basically if, if you, if play, if Sony hired you to be a pen tester, right? Hey, we want you to pen test us. This is what the contract would look like. So you see what I'm saying? You see how awesome this is, uh, for resume development, professional development. Um, you could see here response efficiency. So like when you submit a bug, whatever, um, the level of the bugs, I, you know, I don't know how do they um, determine what is low, medium, or high. I'm sure they have some criteria, but you know, that's not that's not the point of this. Um, so, here you go. So start hacking, right? So start up PlayStation.net, right? So star means any you can get all those subdomains, which is awesome. So um, here we got our our Cali box open still. Sweet. Okay. Um, here. Oh, so I was doing, uh, I'll do another video on this. I did the biohacking capture the flag, uh, as part of a team, um, this weekend as well as part of DEF CON. And it, it absolutely was awesome. Uh, it was so awesome. Um, but I'll do a different video on CTFs and what capture the flags are and how much fun they are. Um, but anyways, let's get into our Cali box. So, okay. So by the way, like, all right. So We've got our target. We've got our rules of engagement. I'm pretty sure you can just start hacking. I don't think you need to like enter in, um, enter in. Oh, I guess. So this is how they determine, um, the, the thing. So if you find something on playstation.net, there you go. Remember earlier I mentioned burp suite, um, how that's like a major tool can download a configuration file for it. Let's let's take a look at what this looks like. <laughs> for my CTF, like my browser was uh I'm trying to download malware and it's it's it wasn't it wasn't digging it. Okay. Let's open this JSON file. 
All right. So yeah, so this configuration file, it, this is cool. So basically you can feed this into burp and that way when you're using burps uh, vast amount of tools, the scope is already kind of uh, controlled for you. So way to go. This is this is super cool. So be sure to use that. I mean, you could do it manually, but why would you? Okay, so we're, we're in here. Um, let's look at the scope again. So it's play, star.playstation.net, right? So if you follow Jason Haddock's bug bounty methodology, um, th by the way, I'll, I'll link to this. This is the bug, hun the bug hunter's methodology, right? So bug bounties, um, recon and application analysis. It's just, oh, he's, he's so good. He, he had an example with Tesla. And you can see, um, you know, this is basically like the methodology. On the left are all the roots. Um, he started with Tesla.com, just like we're going to start with uh, PlayStation.net. And he basically just kind of went through different tools to see what's going on. So I'm just going to do a, one quick one. Um, so we're in our Cali box. Um, a mass is an awesome uh, subdomain listing tool. So, hold on. all right, so different tools, like there's a mass that comes with your Cali box. This is a, a, a fairly popular one and very powerful one. I, I'd recommend you like basically uh, watch a couple videos. In fact, I think there was um, one in here, um, maybe either Hackersploit did it um, or, or, or Stoke. Yeah, a mass recon tool. Um, level up, which is, um, level up is another, like, I want to call it a super targeted focused, um, conference. I think bug crowd puts it on and uh, it's for bug bounties only. And that's, I think that's actually coming up like in a week or two. So definitely check it out. Um, I've, I've watched, uh, hacker arsenals video on a mass. I mean, he does some good stuff, but there's so much more functionality that doesn't really get, uh, touched. Uh, so just check out um, a mass. Another one that was like quite popular was Sublister. Uh, check that one out too. Um, and you know you get your subdomains, and that way you can kind of build out like this whole thing, um, which you're basically taking and building out what your actual scope of targets are. So then when you do the right side of the methodology, you can do it for each and every single one that you found. And you know, chances are you're not going to find something on like the main web page for your 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 target, but you know, through mergers and acquisitions, um, through quick little fixes, through affiliate programs and stuff like that, infrastructure gets built up that's like um, not maintained or forgotten about, or it was just supposed to be a temporary thing, but people started using it, so they they couldn't get rid of it. It happens all the time. Those are the soft targets, right? So that's what you really should be looking for. So check out check out that. Um, like I mentioned, Sublister um, is another one that's uh, quite popular and comes with um, with all this. Uh, Nikto, that's another one. Um, once you like have targets and you want to find CVEs and stuff like that, that was another one uh, that Jason mentioned uh, quite a bit. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Have fun. Dig in. Go to HackerOne, get a target, mess around, watch some videos. I'm telling you, this this community, I loved it. I, hey, it's time for my one cool thing. My one cool thing this week is a little bit technical. Uh, uh, subscriber uh, Brandon uh, reached out to me and told me about this, and I thought it was awesome. I didn't know it. So Windows 10 has a built-in sandboxing for, for basically like malware detonation. Um, so you can, uh, and I'll show in the, right here, in, in right here, um, you, like it's simple. You just kind of uh, check off a few boxes, configure it. I'll put the, the uh, links uh, below to it or, or the description. But basically uh, a couple quick configurations and you got a little sandbox on your Windows 10 box and you do whatever you want in there. And when you're done, it blows it away. And uh, it, it, cu it cuts off the network connections and everything like that. So you're not gonna be able to do like super sick uh, malware analysis where the malware is actually smart enough to realize it's being analyzed or it needs to reach out to uh, a, a server to like get instructions or you know it shuts itself down if it doesn't detect a network connection. But it, this is a quick and dirty way. Instead of just like standing up a quick, instead of standing up a VM to like open a PDF to see if it's malicious or not, 
you can just do this, right? So it's a cool thing, and I want to share it with you. So there you go. All right, that's going to do it for this week. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the thumbs up. Love the community. Love engaging with y'all. Uh, put your comments below on what your experience or favorite tools are in bug bounties and what videos you want to see. And special thanks to TechnoSecure for even suggesting this bug bounty because it was like quite the rabbit hole and I loved it. All right, everybody, until next week, stay secure.